we are actually standing at the moment in the uh, endoscopy suite and this is where all the endoscopy procedures are performed. Endoscopy is a term which covers uh, different kinds of procedures. One is a gastroscopy which uh, looks down the throat and into the stomach and into the first part of the intestine. Um, there's another procedure called a colonoscopy which is uh, up the, if you write, the, the back passage where we look all the way up the large colon and another procedure called a sigmoidoscopy which looks partially up the way up the large bowel as well. There's also another procedure called a bronchoscopy which uh, is performed by a chest specialist which would be looking into the lungs as well. There's different sizes and different lengths for the various endoscopes. For example, a gastroscope is probably just under a meter long. A colonoscope is probably closer to two meters long. So this is a state-of-the-art fiber optic endoscope uh, with uh, a lot of controls which uh, make it much more maneuverable. It's a very flexible and maneuverable tube. As you can see, there are controls here where I can use to turn the, angulate the tip of the scope to make it go where I want it to go. You have a camera and the tip of this and you can probably see if I put my hand over this, you can see the picture on the screen. We can actually zoom in if we see something which is worrying. Sometimes we may have to treat certain problems in the stomach, bleeding points for example with uh, special instruments like lasers and uh, this helps us to actually do that. If it's an examination of the stomach, which is a gastroscopy, the patient would be required to be starved for at least eight hours before the procedure. The patients are kept in as a day patient. They are not kept in overnight. If the patient was having a gastroscopy, which is looking at the, uh, the top end of the stomach and the gullet, uh, the procedure would take roughly between 10 and 15 minutes altogether. If it was, for example, a colonoscopy, which is a much more detailed examination of the large intestine, uh, the, the patient you know, would undergo the procedure for up to about 40 or 45 minutes. Once the procedure is completed, the patient is wheeled out of the endoscopy suite and they are kept in our recovery area. We do tend to monitor them for an hour at least afterwards, make sure that they are actually sitting up, they are able to move about and they obviously have a cup of tea or, uh, or a biscuit which would be quite welcome for them if they have not eaten for a long time and uh, then they are ready, for, uh, ready to go home. What we do tell them is that because of the effects of the sedation, they may feel a bit woozy or a bit uh, drowsy for a few hours, so we warn them not to go back to work or to drive for the rest of the day. We recommend that they do get someone along to at least pick them up and take them home uh, you know, after the procedure. I had arranged to see all the patients a few days later anyway to make sure that they understand what's going on and to give them the results in more detail, simply because after a procedure, if they've had sedation, they can be quite uh, confused and a bit drowsy about what the, uh, the outcome has been.